This video is titled, Why Does Anorexia Dent Appear Where It Does? Anorexia is a health condition that is characterized by extreme weight loss. According to Happy Theory, anorexia caused weight loss does not occur evenly over the entire body. According to Happy Theory, anorexia caused weight loss will be more severe on one half of the body than on the other half of the body. The side of the body with the more severe weight loss will develop a large depression or indentation in the side of the torso. Happy Theory refers to that depression or indentation as anorexia dent. This picture shows an example of what anorexia dent looks like. The right side of the woman's torso has a large depression in it. This picture shows a different example of what anorexia dent looks like. Some viewers might feel that the dent in the side of the torso of the example individuals is due to the posture or pose that the photographer has requested them to hold. While it is true that the posture or pose held by the example individuals does affect their appearance, according to Happy Theory, there will still be an unnatural looking depression or indentation in the side of the torso of the example individuals, even if they were standing up straight. An anorexia dent will occur somewhere within the area highlighted on the computer model human body shown in this picture. It would be natural to wonder why anorexia dent appears in that specific area of the torso. The simple or common sense explanation for why anorexia dent appears in the side of the torso where it does is that there is no support for the flesh and muscle of the torso in that area. As can be seen in this comparison picture between the computer model human body and a computer model human skeleton, the area above where anorexia dent appears is where the rib cage is located. The bones of the rib cage prevent the flesh and muscle covering them from shrinking in towards the spine by any appreciable amount. No matter how much weight loss a particular human body experiences, the bones of the rib cage will keep that area of the torso close to a constant width. The side of the torso below where anorexia dent will appear is where the pelvic bones are located. Like the bones of the rib cage, the pelvic bones prevent the flesh and muscle covering them from shrinking in towards the spine by any appreciable amount. No matter how much weight loss a particular human body undergoes, the bones of the pelvis will keep that area of the torso a mostly constant width. There are no bones in the area of the torso where anorexia dent appears. That means the flesh and muscle in that area of the torso can shrink in towards the spine by any physically possible amount. The simple and common sense explanation for why anorexia dent appears somewhere between the rib cage and the pelvis does not explain why a particular case of anorexia dent has the exact shape, the exact size, and the exact location that it does. The simple or common sense explanation also does not explain the other bodily changes that occur simultaneously with the onset of a case of anorexia dent. The body of an individual who develops a case of anorexia dent will also exhibit other bodily changes that occur simultaneously with the onset of a case of anorexia dent. The head, the arm, and the leg on the same side of the body as the anorexia dent will all change size and shape in a way that is related to the size and shape of the anorexia dent and their normal behavior will change in some way. Happy Theory provides a number of other ways to explain why anorexia dent occurs in the side of the torso where it does that can also explain why a particular case of anorexia dent has the exact size, the exact shape, and the exact location that it does, as well as explaining the other simultaneously occurring bodily changes that appear with the onset of a case of anorexia dent. One of those explanations involves the two snakes view of the human body which is one of the theoretical models of the human body created for happy theory. According to the two snakes view of the human body, the human body behaves as if it is composed of two large snakes, located approximately as shown in this picture. The head of each snake lies within the human head, and the tail of each snake is located within the foot. The body of each snake follows a wave-shaped path from the feet up to the head. According to happy theory, Anorexia will strongly shrink one of the snakes of the two snakes view of the human body. The shrinkage of the snake will pull both ends of the snake towards the vertical center of the human body 
as well as pulling the wave shapes of the body of the snake in towards the spine of the human body. The reason anorexia dent occurs in the side of the torso where it does, using the two snakes view of the human body explanation, is that the wave shape of the snake body is naturally concave or rounded inwards in the area between the rib cage and the pelvis. Anorexia can be visualized as removing some of the boundary between the human body and the snake body within it to reveal more of the concave shape of the snake body as it curves inwards between the rib cage and the pelvis. The reason why anorexia dent does not appear in the rib cage and pelvic area of the torso, using the two snakes view of the human body explanation, is that when more of the snake body within the human body is revealed by anorexic weight loss, more of the rounded outwards convex wave shape of the snake body is revealed. No matter how much weight a human body loses in the rib cage and pelvic area, the convex wave shape of the snake body in the rib cage and pelvic area of the human body will prevent any kind of depression or indentation like the one that is the hallmark of anorexia dent from forming in the rib cage and pelvic area of the human body. The reason that the head and the leg on the same side of the body as the anorexia dent will change, using the two snakes view of the human body explanation, is that anorexia will shrink the length of the snake body within the human body. Shrinking the length of the body of the snake will pull the head of the snake down from within the human head and down into the human body somewhere, and it will pull the tail of the snake up from within the foot and into the leg somewhere. The withdrawing of the body of the snake from within the human head and leg will change the normal shape, size, location, and orientation of the head and the leg in the same way that letting air out of a tire will change the physical characteristics of a tire. The reason the arm on the same side of the body as the anorexia dent changes is mainly due to the horizontal shrinkage of the body of the snake, which removes some amount of the snake body from within the arm. The head and the leg on the same side of the body as the anorexia dent will also be affected by the horizontal shrinkage of the snake body in towards the spine of the human body. Because a snake and a human being are both three-dimensional objects, changes to the height of the snake body will also have an effect on the exact way the human body changes. The explanation so far has discussed shrinkage of the length, the width, and the height of the body of the snake in linear or straight line terms. Those three factors are still not enough to completely describe the exact size, the exact shape, and the exact location of a particular case of anorexia dent. This picture shows the body of each snake as following a wave shape path. That is because the picture is two-dimensional. As previously mentioned, the body of a snake is a three-dimensional object. In three dimensions, the body of a snake follows a spiral path. That means explaining the exact shape, the exact size, and the exact location of a particular case of anorexia dent using the two snakes view of the human body explanation would require applying linear shrinkage of the body of the snake along its width, its height, and its length, as well as applying any shrinkage of the snake body along a curved or a spiral path to the side of the human body that contain the shrinking snake body.